Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Today's a blue coin mission and today we are heading into Gelato Beach. Now generally this is how it's going to work. For the next few videos uh, mentioning blue coins, there's going to be a lot of heavy editing and post commentary for the most part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there, get all the blue coins, and then after get all the gold coins and show that off. So, without further ado, let's jump on in to Gelato Beach. Okay guys, so, now that we're in Gelato Beach, the first thing we're gonna go to is Episode 1 Dune Bud Sandcastle Secret. Now, there's only one blue coin that we get in this mission, and it's from shooting this random red catacrack on the beach. We're actually gonna be coming back here in reference when we go to later blue coins. But until then, let's move on to the next one. We're going to go to episode four, The Sandbird is Born. Now, this one in particular is relatively simple, but you still have to ride the giant sandbird all the way up to the very top of the tower in order to obtain all four coins. But just for a reference when you're doing this, uh, be careful when the sandbird actually starts turning sideways, especially on this one in particular. The sandbird uh, tends to kick people off, especially when trying to collect this one. So in your best interest, when trying to collect this blue coin, be aware of that. Okay? And with this last one, it should be a breeze, and then you can exit the level. And then we'll head on to the next one. And uh, this is the mission we're going to be staying in for the rest of the blue coins. So next one, what we're going to do is we're going to go to episode 6, Red Coins in the Coral Reef. Now, there's a reason why in particular that I chose this mission, and I can talk over this, because most of the, the blue coins I show... Uh, you can find with relative ease because they're in plain sight. There's nothing to worry about. Um, I chose episode 6 in particular because most of the blue coins correspond on this particular mission. And there's two blue coins you can obtain unless you're doing it on episode 6, which is the ones that involve Yoshi. And we'll get to those like near the very end of uh, the blue coin hunt. But for the most part, when trying to obtain all of the blue coins, the hardest ones to uh, get are the Yoshi ones. So I tried setting up a route where when I go to a mission, I can get most of the blue coins with relative ease. Um, there's only one other um, like level in the game that has a lot of uh, accessibility to all the blue coins, and that would be the ones in Noki Bay. <sighs> but we'll get to Noki Bay when we get to that. Uh, I'll explain that <laughs> and why I do not like it. Now, for the most part, when trying to get all the blue coins, um, most of them end up being in plain sight and easy things to shoot. Um, there's a few secret ones here and there, like spraying the beach to find those, um, whatchamacallit, um, shine emblems. Once you shoot those, uh, you'll be able to find them. And that's where I'll actually talk about the ones from episode one in reference point. But I think that should be the next one after this one. Apparently there's a motorcycle in the background. I don't know why. Ha, ah, okay. Now this ship right here can only be seen in episode one. And this is my reference point for the blue coin right here. Now, when you go to any episode after this one, when you spray the beach, it is not, the ship is not there, but the blue coin still remains in the same location. Okay? So, nothing to worry about there. Now, this one in particular is a little bit confusing. Um, what you need to do is go to the place where the Dune Bud Sandcastle secret is, swim from about there towards the center, which I reference as the center of the beach, and then swim down here to find this blue coin. Relatively simple. Okay. So, this is another reference point that can only be seen in Episode 1 and nowhere else. So, if you want to get this in Episode 1, uh, based on the reference point, it's a lot easier to do that. Plus, ca blue cataquacks won't do damage to you, unlike the red cataquack counterparts. I do not know why they do that, they just, they just don't hurt. Mm. I have learned in reference that you have to be careful with your voice, because if you talk too much and too loudly for too long, 
you start to lose your voice. And I'm feeling that strain right now because I've tried to record this part like three times. One, because of mistakes and stuff like that. And two, <laughs> just strain of my voice. That particular blue coin is weird right there. For whatever reason, you have to drop a random fruit into uh, the blender in order to get that. How would people figure that out if they're going blind? I have no idea. Like, honestly, this was before the time of the internet and before spoilers, so it, the only way you could get it is if you have a guidebook or you're talking to, like, a developer of the game. <sighs> Weird stuff. Now, one thing to mention about these fish, I hate these fish, because when you swim close to them, sometimes the blue coins like to disappear into the sand, and there's no way you can get them unless they come out. <sighs> I really hate them. Now, for triangle sprain, my recommendation is get the turbo nozzle and shoot over there. It's the quickest way. If you want to do, like, basically spray the ground and do belly sliding all the way over there, it can work, but it, there's going to be a shorter time frame. So, best suggestion, uh, get the uh, turbo nozzle. It'll make your life a whole lot easier. And luckily, two sprays will not completely drain a uh, flood of water. All right. So, this random blue cataquack decides to take a nap. And, you know, instead of letting it just sleep up there, we're going to be a noisy neighbor and say, Hey, hey, come here, buddy. I'm going to spray you, and then I'm going to tackle you. Because we're jerks like that. Honestly, my beef is with the red cataquacks. <sighs> and bees. Well, I'll explain bees later. Now it's time for everybody's favorite, favorite blue coin. The bluebirds. I don't like the bluebirds for the most part is because when you spray uh, some of them, they will swim around the entire... <laughs> they will fly around the entire level and it will take forever for them to come back. I hate bluebirds. <sighs> I don't really hate blue jays, but I will hate bluebirds. I don't have a I don't have a beef with the animal. Bird. Animal bird. Ugh. Now this blue coin. At the top of the type ropes, the camera angles for whatever reason decides not to change. I don't know why, but it, this is what makes the uh, blue coin well, at least again, this one here, annoying, because you cannot change your camera angles properly, and I ended up jumping off like three or four times in practice attempts in order to get that one blue coin. Ugh. Now, this one's relatively hidden. I don't know, like, you would have to go all the way up here just to try and find it. It's out of the way. All right. So for these next two, the last two, you're going to need Yoshi, and it's only through episode six. So you spray this thing here, and boom, you got Yoshi, and then you have to eat all of the bees again. Ugh. The bee I hate bees. Honestly, that's one reason why I hate bees. <sighs> bees are annoying because they just, they knock you off Yoshi most of the time, so it's really annoying. Once I eat all the bees, then I'll get the last blue coin. And there we go. All right. Okay, so next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to episode eight, the Watermelon Festival, for all of the gold coins. <clears throat> so the first part about it is, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be collecting all of the miscellaneous gold coins surrounding the area, and that's relatively simple. Um, the next part after that is you're going to have to actually destroy most of the watermelons and catquacks. Oh, sweet, sweet revenge. Only problem with it is it takes forever to do that. So instead of boring you guys with crushing watermelons ten times in a row and you've seen it, I've generously cut out most of it. So most of the gold coin collecting has been shortened to, I think, like... Uh, three or four minutes in general. Like, I I've really sped up the footage, and by sped up, I mean I cut out backtracking and stuff like that, and showed you general locations of where the coins are. But other than that, 
I'm not going to talk about any of the gold coin collecting, so I'm just going to leave you guys for the rest of it, and I will be back, because I need my voice to rest, because I need to record another part. <sighs> be back soon. Cataquacks suck. They really do. Cat quacks really suck. Alright, so we are just at the end of this. One more dead cat quack and we are done. Ugh, thank God. Yeah, and with that, everybody, that is all 100 gold coins and as a 100 gold coin shine. So. Thank you all for watching, everybody. If you can help me out by rate, comment, and subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. See you all next time.